Hello, I'm Elizabeth Vargas, and this is 2020 in Touch. Here's what we're working on for this week's program. As a trooper, I, I was very aggressive on drunk driving, and I was proud of my ability to pick up on that. Dealing with these types of cases is something Carl McDonald, a former lieutenant with the Wyoming State Highway Patrol, considers his life's work. I would walk up to a car and tell you whether or not that driver was sober or intoxicated. But there would be one drunk driver whom Carl did not suspect and who changed his life forever. I was living my life around a woman who was intoxicated often and didn't know it. How could that be? I don't have an explanation for why I missed it. Maybe the, the heart is blind. The woman was Carl's wife, Susan, a dispatcher with the sheriff's department and the mother of their only child, Carly. How much were you drinking? I'm sure I was drinking at least a fifth of whiskey a day. A fifth of whiskey a day? I'm sure, a I'm day. sure. That's a lot of alcohol. And I was driving. Every day? Every day. So you were a raging alcoholic. Raging is a good word. What did it cost you over time? Oh my God, what didn't it cost me? When people look at it from the outside and they think, how could a mother do that? But it's an illness, it is an illness. It is sick, it is, it is sick in so many ways. And so in your mind, you hadn't even been drinking that much. That's right. What did alcohol do to your judgment that day? Well, I imagine it probably just tossed it out the window. With her judgment impaired, driving almost 50 miles an hour over the speed limit on a highway ramp, Susan rammed into a tractor trailer. The next thing I remember is uh, somebody talking to me outside my window. I was in and out of consciousness, I think. They said, you, you've been in an accident. And when I got to my driveway, I pulled up to the house and this trooper came over to my window and he said, there's been a crash, a bad crash, and I have to take you right away. Did you know that Carly was in the crash? I knew that by what he said. At that moment, my world came to an end. We hope you'll watch 2020 on the air every Friday night and keep stopping by online for our daily webcasts and previews of our upcoming stories. I'm Elizabeth Vargas. For all of us at 2020, we're in touch, so you be in touch.